Foreign volunteers who joined the German army during World War II primarily came from Europe, Africa, the Middle East, and the Caucasus, but also from Asia and the Far East. This included two Eastern battalions composed of Asian soldiers from countries as far-flung as China, Korea, Japan, Thailand, Indochina, and Indonesia, who donned German uniforms and fought against the Allies on both the Eastern Front and in the Normandy Campaign. Before the start of World War II, the first Asian to join the German army was none other than Chiang Wei Kuo, the son of President Chiang Kai-shek, who led the Republic of China. His reason for enrolling in the German armed forces was to learn modern tactics, especially those related to the Panzer Corps. He was trained at the military academy in Munich and received various mountaineering lessons in the Alps. Chiang Wei Kuo had the opportunity to participate in the annexation of Austria in March 1938, commanding a panzer tank as he rolled into Austrian territory before returning to China. When World War II began, the German army did not consider the possibility of enlisting Asians in 1939 and 1940. However, this changed with the launch of Operation Barbarossa against the Soviet Union in 1941. German troops encountered thousands of Asians who had been mistreated by the Stalinist regime and wished to fight against Soviet oppression. It was at this moment that SS Commander Gottlob Berger proposed to Reichsfuhrer Heinrich Himmler the idea of enlisting all those Asian volunteers who expressed a desire to combat communism, particularly those from Central Asia. This task was undertaken by a series of officers sent by the German High Command, who sought candidates not only among Central Asians but also among prisoners captured from the Western Allies, primarily from the former colonial troops of the French and Dutch armies. Officially, the first baptism of fire for Asians in the German army took place at the end of 1941 in the area of operations of Army Group South in Ukraine. Specifically, more than a hundred Mongolian soldiers integrated into the 444th Security Division under the command of General Ernst Wagner fought against Soviet partisans in the Tavri area, a task they performed excellently. Between 1943 and 1944, Asians in the German army were employed as auxiliary troops, usually in anti-partisan or reserve units on the Eastern Front. Finally, two modest contingents were formed, grouped into the so-called Eastern Battalion. According to their origin from the Far East or Southeast Asia, the deployment in France was carried out as follows. The Japanese, Chinese, Koreans, Mongolians, and Tibetans were distributed among the beaches of Normandy and the Cotton Tan Peninsula to protect the Atlantic Wall, while the Vietnamese, Laotians, Cambodians, and Thais were stationed in the Riviera of Provence along the Mediterranean coast to guard the Southern Wall. Coincidentally, during the Normandy landings on June 6, 1944, some sectors of the Omaha and Utah beaches were defended by a significant number of Korean soldiers and, to a lesser extent, Japanese and Chinese soldiers assigned to the Eastern Battalion, who defended for almost eight hours. Once the beaches were taken, the Americans were completely stunned to see a large number of prisoners from Korea. The most popular Asian volunteer in the German army during World War II was undoubtedly the Korean Kyung Jong Yang. Against all odds, he found himself caught up in D-Day during the Normandy landings on June 6, 1944, facing numerous American troops with a machine gun, eliminating many of them before being captured at noon by American paratroopers. Once a prisoner, he was sent to a penitentiary in the United States where he was released at the end of the war in 1945 and became a U.S. citizen, living in Illinois until his death in 1992. His experiences were documented in a book, which was later adapted into a film in 2011 titled My Way.